What is up, everybody? Uh, just took delivery of the new Fit Controller by MIDI Plus, uh, built specifically for Waves LV1. And I'm gonna show you opening this up, seeing what's inside, and then uh, what it's like to install it uh, in place of the bottom screen on the OCD Labs case. So I'm gonna show you all that now. So first off, opening up the box here, just like any other box, it opens, ta-da. Uh, inside, obviously, fit controller. Uh, it does come with the um, rack rails, which is great. I actually thought those were a separate thing. So that's coming in there. And then, of course, it comes with um, some hardware and USB cable. And then, of course, power supply, IEC cable, and a European IEC cable. So this is the uh, 120 volt. And this is the European one. Don't need that. Toss that in garbage. Um, and then, of course, the all the foam in here. So let's pop this out. Once it's popped out of the foam, there is a very, very nice uh, plastic cover over the faders. Uh, helps keep them in place. And or uh, if you, you know, this is kind of an analog style VCA. Uh, you can just put that on here and move all the faders together. Obviously, I'm completely joking. All right, we've removed the plastic. Uh, we've got the wonderful silica thing um, that's not actually silica apparently it's natural being better for the environment and stuff um the slightly less good to eat still uh so don't eat that um and then the fit controller itself uh, i've got another video up that kind of goes over my first impressions with this um that video was not made with this controller uh, it was made with a friend of mine's and so uh, i'm going to install this one and make sure it all works um, and see if there's any differences to what I found in that video. Um, but yeah, these faders feel good. Um, they do have a little bit of wobble to them. Um, most faders kind of do. Uh, that way they don't snap off if you get a little uh, aggressive with them. Um, of course, all the knobs, buttons seem to be in good order here. Uh, so we're just looking over this. Um, there is not uh, a plastic thing on the scribble strip here. Uh, so you don't have anything fun to pool peel off so um, that's that and let's flip it around and look at the back on the back of the fit controller by MIDI plus here uh, of course have labels um, LED USB things um, I'm probably gonna pick some of those up I think that'd be cool to have those in here uh, USB uh, it's a standard 2.0 B style USB B um, and then the 12 volt uh, 2.5 amp power adapter that comes with it and of course a power switch um, so you can toggle that on, on, off individually. Um, the power system itself is uh, a power brick that's going to take up more of your precious space inside your case. And the screw-on style connector so it doesn't accidentally come unplugged. And then a standard IEC. I'm going to take this IEC, which is probably like six feet long, and replace it with one that is much shorter uh, because inside the OCD Labs case, space is very precious. Uh, my friend of mine that had one, um, he obviously doesn't of course have a bottom screen, um, but his uh, power supply was able to fit uh, next to um, the PC in here. Uh, my uh, setup does not have the access one. It does not have the server. I've got my own HP PC in here and then the DigiGrid D. Um, I will have plenty of room for the uh, power supply, um, but just so you know, um, between like a single rack shelf or the two rack shelf deal for the Waves server and PC, there is room on the side here for um, for power bricks. So you'll see here, I've already got one, uh, my power brick right in here for my computer. And so this power brick will probably just sit right behind it. Um, plenty of room in there for that. So uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, quick unboxing of the new Fit Controller by MIDI Plus. And next up, I'm not gonna show all the steps here because it's really not that exciting, um, but I am going to take apart um, this system and remove this screen. Uh, but however, I'm gonna do it in such a way that I'm going to maintain all of the cableage uh, so that if I wanted to go back to the screen, I could fairly quickly just plug it, play it, and go. All right, so I took the screen out. Um, I forgot that it was just it's screwed in from the bottom, so I had to find a little short screwdriver, take out some stuff, and get in underneath here. Um, if you've got their full rack mount things, you'll need to take those basically just all the way back apart. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave this in place. Um, I don't have uh, another power spot in here, so I'm actually going to use this in place of the IEC cable that came with the system. Uh, and then I'm going to leave the, the HDMI and the USB um, just connected and free in here. Um, since this USB cable for the Dell touchscreen is different than the... Um, than the fit controller i'm not going to use that uh, but i will reuse this uh, and plug the uh, power brick into that and uh, and then plug in the usb cable to the computer all right so on the back uh, we just connect the power switch that in i already had the power switch turned on and usb there we go flip the power switch on and the fit boots up this is what the home screen looks like uh, when it's not connected to LV1 at all. Uh, so obviously um, you can change the mode uh, in the future. Uh, right now you can't, but in the future you'll be able to change the mode. Um, and then uh, obviously fit, logos, fun stuff like that. And then uh, you boot up your computer. And once that's all connected there, boot up your computer and then we'll add it to LV1. So this is how you add the fit controller to LV1. I've got LV1 launched here. Everything's fine and dandy. Um, so then I will hit add device. I will choose MIDI plus fit. And then what you have to do, and this actually uh, hung me up for a minute, uh, on input, you have to choose the fit. And on the output, you have to choose the fit. Because yes, this is receiving signal in from the fit, but you also have to signal send signal to the fit uh, so that it knows what to do. Uh, as soon as you've done that, this will come to life, faders will fly up and lights and all that fun stuff will start happening. Uh, but uh, there are some other settings here. Um, faders, um, I'm gonna follow um, mixer one uh, by default and then I'm gonna actually have follow aux sense flip on. That means when I go to sends on faders for my monitors or whatever effect sends, uh, they will come down here so I'm effectively mixing those. Um, you can toggle that on and off depending on if you need it. Okay, so on the master fader, I'm actually gonna drop that down and choose DCA, VCA, whatever you want to call it, number 16, um, which is my mate, well, which it's my DCA that controls the left, right, the sub, and the fill sends. Um, I don't do a lot of um, aux flip masters for the, like, the actual aux send, so I don't need to worry about that. My custom functions, um, what I found to be the most helpful in mixing on this is that these uh, play, stop, and record buttons uh, should actually be um, the tabs up on here. Uh, so what I'm actually gonna do is I am going to say, I want to toggle my view. Uh, the top one, I want to be mixer one. The stop button, I want to be the channel button. And the alt button, I want to be the, uh, let's do the patch page. I uh, might eventually want the setup page there, but yeah. Uh, knob mode, um, eventually I think they're gonna add some features to this. Obviously there's a big giant blank screen right here uh, for more features. Um, but if you uh, boot up one of these out of order or anything like that, uh, you just come into settings and hit this refresh button and it will uh, re-synchronize with the fit controller. So we'll close that. And here's the fit controller. It is now up and running. Uh, if you want my kind of thoughts on this, I've got another separate video about that. Uh, that was not this fit controller. Um, I had that separate um, from a friend. Uh, but one person had asked uh, about the, um, the faders, how close to Unity uh, is Unity. And so I just wanted to quick show that because um, that's something I actually hadn't thought of because while I'm OCD and I want this number to be exactly Unity, um, I don't really care where the fader is. Most of the time, you know, I'm looking at it at an angle or something. So where this thing is doesn't line up anyway. So, um, but looking straight down at it um, and lining that perfectly up with zero, like I can't actually, oh, there we go, I hit zero. So now this band uh, DCA here, is perfectly at zero and obviously there's a little bit of margin for error there if I'm looking straight down at it 
Um, there is no way to calibrate these faders. That is not currently a function. So um, if they get off, they get off. And that's the way it is. Although I don't actually calibrate faders that often or at least find the need to. Um, but when I've got two faders that are, you know, really, 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 really close together, um, like if I'm looking at this, I've got my band and vocals exactly almost at zero within, there we go, there's zero. Those faders, you know, might be a fraction of a hair off, but that's just the the motor, most likely, just being like, oh, okay, there we go, and it, it didn't change values at all. So one of the things that is slightly complicated and frustrating with the OCD Labs case as it currently is, uh, is that this screen does not close down safely on top of this. So if I grabbed the foam that came with the dual screen version here, uh, if I lower this down, I'm gonna start hitting buttons and breaking screens. Uh, so don't do that. Uh, that's gonna end badly. Uh, what a friend of mine had told me to do uh, was actually to disconnect this and, um, and actually flip it upside down. So I just wanna show you that real quick. So what I do is just send the faders down to the bottom. And then I've actually got some um, felt, you know, um, soft things. Uh, so what we'll actually do is flip this over and put um, a nice soft thing down on the bottom to keep it safe, like so. This actually just gets flipped around. Um, so instead of um, being kind of normal, you unplug it, flip it around so that the encoders go down here, and then this thing sits just about flat. So, um, so right now when I press on this, um, the faders aren't touching anything. Uh, if anything, they're touching just a little bit of uh, my microfiber here. But um, for the most part, this is just sitting just above that. I could even pull this cloth a little bit closer this way. Um, the encoders are down between here so that uh, as I press on this, nothing, none of the buttons are getting pushed. None of this frame is getting uh, stretched or anything like that. And grab another microfiber here just to finish it off and keep it safe. And then the screen can go down just on to that. And uh, that should go. Now, I'm using a little bit thicker microfiber um, than the other thing. Let's go see if this can fit in the case because it is a slim fit to here. So we just wanna make sure that uh, this looks right here. Okay, so with the unit uh, in the case here, if I close the lid, I get a full seal. I'm not having to push down on this at all, uh, which means it's not rubbing too much on there. Um, so then uh, all I have to deal with is some extra stuff. So instead of the foam that factory came with this, um, I certainly actually could use that, uh, most likely. If I replace this bottom guy with the foam, closes, oh, perfect. I might actually do that. I like that just a little bit better. It's covering more of the full screen there. And then the lid, of course, closes down like that. And the OCD case is ready to travel with the fit controller inside. So I may eventually um, take the second monitor I took out of there, uh, replace some of the IO on the back of the case and make it so that I could have that um, in some travel case or something like that and have it for those gigs that I have a little bit more space. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys a quick uh, how to put the fit controller into the OCD Labs uh, LV1 Lightfly case. If you have any thoughts, questions, ideas, or ways to improve this, uh, feel free to comment. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel here, and uh, we'll do more videos on LV1. Uh, just let us know what, uh, what you think might be helpful. Thanks, guys. Bye.